Talk about surreal, right? Um, hey. So, um, throughout December it's been a bit of a hiatus because it's... <sighs> I don't even know where to start, but I will update you, everyone. Um, so, as you guys know, and I, I took down the video after, you know, a few days after I posted it, but I had expressed my discontent with Fitum. And, um, so essentially, long story short, um, I've decided to come back home for a semester, work full time, and then in fall, go up to New York to FIT and, uh, basically begin my journey all over again. Just go back to, to square one because it just makes the most sense. And if I were to go to a school for this semester, I feel like I would be put on a big roadblock because I wouldn't be able to kind of be who I wanted to be. And I, I had a lot of freedom in LA and I got used to that and kind of not being able to do that anymore would be detrimental, <laughs> if you will. So I'm just gonna do December products. I'm gonna film the 2013 best and worst of, but I just, um, I haven't really even had time to film this one. So I'm just now getting around to it. Um, but yeah, it was just really busy. It was a month of packing, spending time with the people, the last people that, you know, the last time that I was going to see a lot of these people, um, which is really sad. And I'm trying not to like think about it and cry and stuff, but, um, yeah, I met some great people that I'm going to know for the rest of my life and that are going to be in my life for the rest of my life because it's just, you know, you know that you'll know someone for a long time right when you meet them. And when you do, you'll know. So, um, anyway, <sighs> it was a lot of stuff. Now, I'm going to really kind of amp up my YouTube as much as I can, even though I'll be working, because I just really want to get it up here. I do. Um, so anyway, I just don't even know the order that I got things. I got a lot of uh, nail polishes because I just got super into it. I ended up getting some nail wheels from Amazon, and I just started creating nail wheels. So this allows you to just see the color of the nail polish once it's applied to something because things in the bottle look different from what they do, you know, in person. So I've just separated it into colors like this is blues and greens, this is uh, reds, orange, yellows, this is like effect top coats and like matte top coats and glitter and all that kind of stuff. And this is just blacks and whites and neutrals. So that's really helpful. I mean, there's not enough room to write because I have big handwriting, I think, but I mean... It's kind of helpful, and then you can do the whole, like, oh, what does that look like? So that's kind of fun. I really, I'm glad that I got them, because it's just nice to be able to see them all in one place. Um, so yes, let's see. I got uh, British Racing Green from Butter London, which you guys know that I um, love this kind of color. I was obsessed with this, and this is the closest that I had from Sephora. It's called Prom Night. This is great. Um, it's sparkly, uh, and so, I mean, I, I don't want to zoom zoom in because then you can't, you know, because I don't have that kind of camera, but, um, yeah, it's beautiful. And, uh, it, it's not as great as the Royal Navy. The formula is not as great, but it's still, I mean, it's still butter, so it's still great. Uh, let's see. OCC, which is my new favorite nail polish formula. I think I want to get just, you know, the next nail polishes I buy from now on are going to be OCC because I just am so impressed with the formula and they're really, I, I did a chart and I'll have to post um, the link to the chart on a blog or blog post or something like that, but I broke down the cost per ounce of uh, high-end nail polishes and OCC ends up being the least expensive at $20 an ounce and the most expensive is Armani at uh, $100 an ounce because you get 0.2 ounces and you have to pay 20 bucks. These are $10 and you get 0.5, so you do the math, you know. Um, I got Pond because, well, that's my last name. And it's just this beautiful blue. I love blues. I'm dying over this. And then uh, Tard, which is their glossy jet black. And it's it's beautiful. Um, something I'm not impressed with is Nails Incorporated, Nails Inc., Westburn Grove. It was also $5 on sale. But um, these are actually a good value as well. Even though you get less product, it still ends up costing about the same as an OCC one. Um, it's a really beautiful, bright, kind of like neon cantaloupe, if you will. But it's really, it's a sheer formula. So I don't know how it's supposed to be neon if it's sheer. Uh, this 
color, which I'm super pissed off at. I have to put the link below too to the um, the post that Sephora did. Sephora swatched all of their nail polishes on someone, and they're like holding it, you know how they do on like nails of the day, and it was on the community.sephora.com, whatever. So I got this color because it looks sickening. Like it's like this bright molten orangish copper, and it looks so intense. And this is not anything close to it at all. It's like they put a filter on it or something and that really pisses me off. Like an Instagram filter? Like, fuck off. Um, the color is really pretty. This one right here. I'll put my finger on it. That one. So it's a really pretty, like, shiny red copper, but still it's not the color I wanted. If I wanted that kind of color, I would have bought it, but I didn't. I bought a different color, so. Um, my roommate got me this for Christmas, which is uh, Shearling Darling from Essie, and that one's beautiful as well. That's this one. Isn't that beautiful? And I just realized I'm going to gravitate towards dark colors because it's just... I'm a man, so it makes more sense for dark nail colors because light ones make my fingers look even longer, and that's really weird. So, And then one I got from the um, outlet mall... Uh, from the DCF and CCO is by uh, Yves Saint Laurent and it's uh, number 31 Khaki Arty. You see how beautiful that is? It's fairly similar to this one from OCC, the Swamp Thing, but it's just not as green. So, yeah. And that one looks like this swatched. It's pretty, pretty cute. Anyway, so there's those, liking those. Um, oh, and then from also from the outlet, I got uh, this because it wasn't as good of a sale as it was last year, but I still was like super excited because it was a designer thing. But it's the uh, Jason Wu in Lancome, and it's their color design quad in uh, 501. Excuse my beauty. There's the box for it, and this kind of set of colors is just really cute. So yeah, that's pretty great. I just bought a shit ton of mascaras, basically. What can I say? All of mine exp expired at the same time. So, um, from Target, from Amazon, etc. I bought so many. Okay, so the ones that I'm using right now... Uh, Big Eyes by Maybelline, the waterproof. This one's alright. I like this, the lower brush more for lower lashes because it is super tiny. But the big one, it just, the formula kind of doesn't do anything. It just kind of makes my lashes look black. Uh, Clump Crusher, I really like. This is the waterproof one as well. It's got that curved brush, you know. So I like curved brushes quite a bit. I think it works better for keeping my eyelashes curled, helping them stay curled, and that's why I got waterproof also, because it's a wax formula instead of a water-based, so it'll, you know, stay better. But I can't believe I ever just did not have this in my collection, uh, Lash Blast, Lash Blast Volume. I mean, I've used it before and I liked it, but I just never really thought about getting it again. It's so good. I know why everyone likes it, because it's so good. It's just, that's all there is to it. And I got a two-pack, which was only $9.99 versus getting a one-pack for $8.99. So now I have a backup. Why would you not, you know? Okay, other, the two others, three others. Uh, number seven, Phenomenal Lashes for a fuller lash fan. And also number seven, Exquisite Curl for beautiful curve and volume. So these two are backups, as well as the Lash Stiletto, which I took out of the packaging, but I haven't opened yet. Um, and this is the waterproof, and these two aren't. So these will be backups that I will open up later. After Thanksgiving, I did a um, Black Friday sale with Shiseido so I can get my mom her Christmas present, and I ended up getting the um, Urban Environment UV Protection Cream SPF 40 for myself. So um, I don't know why I'm not living in the city anymore, but um, yeah, I just wanted to give it a shot. It was cheaper than the regular, um, which you guys know I like. So, and it could be worth a shot. So, there's that. Um, oh yeah, and I also got with the Amazon order that I did, which uh, was after the Sephora VIB uh, facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. Love these. So good. Uh, 
I don't know, this came with the VIB thing, the First Aid Beauty Facial Re Ultra Repair Cream. And I love this stuff so much. This is perfect for winter. I need to buy a full size because it's just so good. Um, I also finished a cleansing balm from number seven, so I just repurchased another one today. And I also gave my mom the uh, cleansing lotion, but I wanted it again for myself, so I picked up one for myself because I really like it. Oh, oh, the other thing I did get, Bioderma, as you can tell, I've used it. I love it. At first I hated it because I was like, this does not work. But all you have to do, I kid you not, is just keep it on your eye for like at least a minute and a half and then everything comes off. O oil formulas are made to kind of get it off immediately and you don't really have to, you're not supposed to have to work at it, but I always have to work at it. This, you just soak it in a cotton pad, soak it on your eye and hold it there. And then lift up and away and everything comes off. It's, it's like witchcraft, it's so good. I ended up um, buying this from the fragrance district or whatever, the beauty district, fashion district in LA before I left the Marc Jacobs Honey because as you guys know I was obsessed and I wanted it and so I got it and it was 60 for 3.4 ounce versus like 90 something because I guess they buy it wholesale or I mean and it's real it's real um, but I've just been as you can tell I've already made a little dent in there you see that Anyway, so it's super cute and I love it. Um, also from the Beauty District or whatever, NYX Nude Matte Eyeshadow in Kiss the Day, which is just a basic brow bone highlight, which I did not have a single eyeshadow of these, and all the other ones I had in my palettes broke. Um, this, because I don't have a red eyeshadow and I wanted one, the NYX Primal Colors in Hot Red. It's kind of pinky, but, you know, it'll do. Um... Oh, this also from the Amazon order, NARS uh, Pro Prime, a full size, because I've been through many samples of this, and um, it just, it's, I, I won't use anything else. I won't. Um, <laughs> I went to Disney and got this, because I've always wanted ears like this, so I did. I'm going to wear them for the rest of the time. Um, oh, I bought this brush yesterday from Michaels because I went in and used the restroom and said hi to everyone, but I didn't want to be someone who didn't buy anything. So I got this Simply Simmons number 12 because it was on sale. Probably not anymore. Or no, started... Yesterday was Sunday, right? Yeah. So sale started uh, Sunday. So it should be good till this Saturday. Um, but this is like the Paula Dorf camouflage brush. So... I need a big concealer brush. Why? Because I just do. Um, face stuff. Oh, I know I mentioned this, but I think it's the wrong color. I think it's just too light. A BD40, the Yves Saint Laurent Le Tint du Chocolat. I'm just going to exchange it for a BD50. Even if it's a little bit too dark, I can still work with it because my neck tends to be darker anyway. So I'm going to exchange that as soon as I get the chance to. Oh, is there YSL? There is YSL at the mall that I'm having my interview at tomorrow, which I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx it. And if I get a job, I don't want to not say something and not be able to mention it. Um, also, Secret Camouflage. So good. Um, the color elixirs from Maybelline. I really like them a lot. I might go get some more because they're cheap and they're like the YSL glossy stains but way cheaper. Um, and I think they look kind of cool. It looks like it's going to be a lipstick but it's not. Um, this color number 60 which is Nude Illusion is basically my lip color. It's perfect. And this one, number 40, Violet Vision. Vision Violet. Vision in Violet. It looks just like this in the, in the on the lips. I'll put some on. No, never mind. It's too hard to take off. But they're good. Trust me. And they, like, stay glossy for a long time, and then they stain, and it's great. What else, guys? I mean, I'll probably forget something and then want to mention it later, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it was a lot of... Moving my stuff is like some stuff broke and not too horribly, but um, stuff I didn't care about either, so that's okay. But um, yeah, no, it's just, it's kind of, this is weird being home and like knowing that I'm gonna have to be back for a while. It kind of just feels like I was on this long vacation or like summer camp or something. But um, once I get a job 
it'll be good because I will have something to occupy my time and it'll be good to have that on my resume when I go to New York that, you know, I've worked for a cosmetic retail and, you know, that way I can hopefully get some better jobs because I'll already have had the experience so I can go straight into luxury. That's my goal is uh, luxury. Um, yeah. And, you know, with an emphasis on skincare and complexion cosmetics if they have a specialty for that. Which, that makes me realize that, you know, like, what brand do I... And what brand do I want to work for, you know? I'm thinking... I would really love to work for Chanel, ideally. Laura Mercier would be great. Becca could be good. Tom Ford could be really good. Armani could be nice. Um... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, um... Definitely I will... Oh, some stuff I got today from Sally's. This buffer thing, this stuff, this thing, which is amazing because it does exactly what I wanted something to do for forever, is it gets all the dirt out from underneath your nails. It's like a curette, so that's great. And then this is a file, Tropical Shine, the fine, because I just needed a nail file. But yeah. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna definitely spend more time and like put more energy into getting a, a 2013 video up for you best and worst of 2013 but it's just been, it's been a nightmare because I got back and then it was Christmas and then my family just left today and it's like tomorrow's New Year's Eve you know so it's like weird timing but yeah I, I am um, I know that I'll have a lot of your support in, in what I'm doing and I appreciate that a lot because it's gonna be kind of difficult and I might, you know, I have to force myself just to make videos even you know, if I get back home from work and I'm really tired and everything, I still just have to force myself to do it because I owe it to you guys and I just feel like I owe it to myself as well to keep it up and, and, and have something that I can show for, you know what I mean? That will always be there and that, you know, I can reference back to and see how I've grown and changed and see the people that have grown and changed with me and yeah, so um... We might be moving to different houses, so my setup will probably change if we do, but I'll probably still have a black backdrop, backdrop up so you'll never know. Okay, well that's it. I'm going to go edit this video now and then try to get it up, and um, I will talk to everyone later. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, for Christmas, I also got this, Cards Against Humanity. It says a party game for awful people, or for horrible people. So. Oh my god. So offensive and so crude and crass and just R-rated. But it's so fun. The goal of the game is to be funny. How? Out of here. Okay, bye guys.